um, that has an Intel midfield chipset inside. So it's quite an important device um, from that perspective as being the first Intel equipped Android phone out there. Um, this is an, a retail device, um, so this is exactly what you get if you go and buy it in a shop. Um, it's priced at £199 plus £10 top up on prepay and it's uh, £15.50 on a 24 month contract. If you buy it on prepay you'll get um, 12 months of 250 mega month data included, which is quite nice. Um, so here you go, here's the box, little Intel Inside logos around and about the place. Tell us what we've got in it there. And the device, charger, USB cable, headset, quick start guide, orange services guide and a SIM tray pin. And there, there you go, that little picture. So if we open it up, this is kind of what you get in store. So you get your little SIM pack, little read me first guide, top up card, putting credit on. Um, the micro sim. Uh, there's the readme first guide that we just mentioned. Look at this second and kind of an orange guide thing. And it comes with a little uh, micro sim adapter should you want to use the sim in another device. So here we go. Um, bit of blurb on the top there. Just telling you about the Intel processor and the camera that can is 8 megapixels and can snap 10 pictures in a second. And a little thing there telling you how to use, how to charge it, how to use the pin to open the SIM tray, and insert the SIM and turn on, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So, we've got this little protective thing over the screen. So, get rid of that. That's also telling us how to use the SIM pin. So hopefully there will be a SIM pin in here somewhere. Underneath the device tray here, we have um, a kind of standard generic style white headset with looks like a little volume slider there, um, different gear thingies, a 3.5mm connector. We have the mains to USB adapter, and we have the micro USB cable for syncing and charging. Safety warranty and legal information can definitely stay in there and there is the aforementioned SIM pin which we're going to need. So let's get that out. Close that up. So if we get the device, so we've got a uh, micro USB um, connection on the left hand side. Um, we've got the four buttons under the screen there. Uh, back menu home and search. We've got the front facing 2 megapixel camera um, which can record 720p video on the front. We've got the various array of sensors there. Um, HDMI on the bottom. Uh, little camera sticky thing that I've just peeled off there. On this side we've got the camera button, SIM tray, volume buttons, and on top we've got the power button and a 3.5mm and the secondary microphone. There's the uh, dual LED flash on the back and the Intel co-branding. On the bottom you also have the uh, stereo speakers. Right, so if we stick this in here, out comes the SIM tray. Now this doesn't have externally accessible micro SD, but from some pictures we've seen on the web already, it looks like you might be able to get inside and actually find an internal micro SD slot. Um, I'm not going to try that now on the video, because it gets horribly wrong, <laughs> but I will try that and we'll pull back on the side how we get on with that. There you go. So the micro SIM goes in there, that slides in there, and then uh, we're ready to go. So let's power this on. This is the first boot obviously, so this will give us a clue of how long it takes for this to happen. There you go, vibrating and on it, on it goes. Um, obviously these, the first boot does lots of bits and pieces that will make it um, slower than later boots. Big Intel logo there. This is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread um, with an ice cream sandwich update coming later. Oh, there we go, and we're up already. Um, so that was a pretty speedy boot, I'm sure you'll agree. So, there we go, we can change language, emergency call. 
Um, this is a 1024 by 600 screen, um, so it's exceptionally clear and looks very good indeed. It's kind of the usual orange setup wizard. Tell you what the buttons do. Um, teach you how the keyboard works, and uh, that is a standard gingerbread keyboard, so we don't really need a lesson in that. Try a different keyboard. Ah, Swipe is pre-installed, which is quite nice. Not a big fan of Swipe myself, but I know lots of people love it. Setting up email. Importing contacts from the sim. Um, you can set up your Wi-Fi connection in here, but we'll skip that for now. Finish. Finish. And here we go. And up it comes. So this is kind of the standard orangeified build. Um, if you look, the actual kind of key part of it, um, the system UI and things, is very gingerbread generic. This is just a launcher. Um, there's not too much stuff in there really, which is quite nice. Uh, I imagine it will be pretty easily disabled. There's a bit of skinning in there. But um, as we start hacking it about a bit, we'll get a better idea of what we can change, what we need to change, and uh, how to go about that. So if we just go into settings here, have a look at the software version. Um, Android 2.3.7, kernel 2.6.3.5.3, um, build is gingerbread 01.04. Let's just have a look at that storage. Uh, total space is 10.71 gig available from the 16 gig. Internal storage, which is like where the apps go, basically a data partition is 1.87 gig available. So you're not going to be running out of space anytime soon, which is quite nice. Um, there you go, that's an introduction to the Orange San Diego. If you've got any specific questions, then please do post them on Modico and I'll do my best to answer them. And of course, our full review will be available soon. Thanks for watching.